What's up, you guys? Marty Schwartz here from GuitarJams.com. Hope you guys are doing great out there. Going to give you a cool little double stop uh, soloing technique. Um, I've always got bonus links uh, down there, and I appreciate that extra support. Uh, but enough of that stuff. Let's zoom in. I'm going to show you this little technique right now. Here we go. Okay, so I have a progression here. It's D to G. And for this particular progression, we're going to use the G major scale. But we're really thinking of the D note, not the G note, as its home base or the root of the, um, of the scale. So that was, would be a mode of the G major scale. So you could also call it D mixolydian. D mixolydian and the G major scale, it's all the same notes. It's just kind of what you're thinking of as, as what feels like the root note, okay? So watch, I'm going to show you that G major scale all on the high E string and then show you how we spice it up even more. And it's going to work over this progression, which you're going to, you know, see tons of progressions exactly like this. So this can be a nice solo technique that you can add to your arsenal. So here's the G major scale on the high E string. We're going to start on the third fret. And it's just like that Do, Re, Mi scale. So it would be three... Five, seven, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen. Fourteen, twelve, ten, eight, seven, five, three. Now watch, I add a little melody to it. Or a little rhythm, I mean. So that's kind of what we're going to be tracking, but we're going to spice that up by adding a lower harmony. And this technique is called sixths. It's a double stop, uh, meaning two notes together, and it adds a really nice uh, sound to your soloing. Uh, so we're going to add notes on the G string along with those notes as we climb down. So I'm going to go like this. I'm going to now play my ring finger on the 14th fret of the high E. And middle finger is going to be on that same fret, but on the G string. I'm plucking them, but if you're going to strum it with a pick, you just want to make sure that B string is muted. Not. But instead. And I'm just letting that finger mute that B string. I prefer to pluck it with the fingers. It just adds a nice quality to the sound. So, so far, we've got 14 on the high E and the G, then the exact same thing a whole step down. This is where we have the second shape in, this, in these little clusters. And what's going to happen is the middle finger is going to go down a half step to the 11th fret. And now we're going to use our index finger on the 10th fret of the high E, and you play that double stop. So watch. Here's kind of a fun, uh, you know, you'll start to recognize the pattern here because now, now we're going to do this exact shape down a whole step. Got that pretty sound to it. Fourteen and fourteen, twelve and twelve, middle finger on the eleven, index on the ten, that exact shape, a whole step down. Now we're going to go back to the original shape, and I'm going to look at that middle finger there and slide it to the seventh fret, and then I'm going to get my ring finger to the seventh of the high E. So now we're back at the original shape, and then we're going to move that down a whole step. So we've got 
seven and seven, five and five. So check it out. And then finally we end it on that second shape I taught you, which would be the fourth fret on the G and the third fret on the high E. Put those together. So then the, the other thing you can do is if you kind of learn that pattern, you can improvise with it. You don't have to do the exact same thing. You know, you hear like. So now what I'm going to do for you, since I'm just here, the camera is rolling and there's no such thing as tape anymore, it's just a digital card, I'll just play this rhythm for you for a while and you can jam out. The other thing that you can do is you can also improvise with the D major pentatonic scale, which is that pentatonic shape, but you put your pinky on the root, D, 10th fret right there, and you can improvise with and any other things that you might know that you've learned before, okay? Here we go, work on those double stops, maybe throw some solos in there. I wish I could hear you, um, but uh, we haven't developed that technology yet. Here we go, three, four.
right, there it was. Thanks again for hanging out. I really appreciate uh, all the support over the years. I really, really do. Thank you so much. Um, you know, any kind of uh, extra support in the links is always great as well. Uh, hope to see you guys again in another video real soon. Have a great one. See you later.